Hello, this is episode eight of Vlogmas. Today, I'm gonna be showing you around a beautiful lake in my neighborhood. It's called Lake of the Isles. It's in the uptown neighborhood of Minneapolis, which is kind of the western edge of Minneapolis, going into the western suburbs of the Twin Cities. I'm gonna show you how the houses around Lake of the Isles decorate for Christmas. I think this house is just magnificent. I love the huge window that they have right in the front. And you can actually see, I'm not gonna zoom in because that's kind of invasive, but they actually have a fire going inside. I've always thought this house is so pretty and it has such a nice view too of the lake. Right there. This type of decorating is much more in the style of how my childhood home was always decorated. We had a few arborvitae bushes in the front yard and still do. And we would wrap the lights around them to light up the house. Definitely not as uniform as these ones. These look so nice. I have to admit when I'm walking around or running around this lake and I look at the houses, I'm just like, who are you? Like, who lives here? These houses are just so pretty, so magnificent. I mean, look at this one right here. Look at that. It has like a relief above the front door. It's just like out of this world. Oh, there's a really, really nice one right here. Is that not just beautiful? Especially with the snow. That's probably one of my favorite things about the holiday season is the snow coupled with the lights that people put up. More pretty lights. Just look at how they reflect on the snow. It's so pretty. My household was more of a yellow and white light decoration house, not these multicolored lights, but I still like them. Ooh, that's really pretty too. This right here is Lake of the Isles Lutheran Church. Fun fact, I actually played in a piano recital here when I was a senior in high school, which was a decade ago. It's quite beautiful and I always love the decorations that they put up right outside here. And usually they have a nativity somewhere right over there, but I don't know if they've put it up yet. One thing that sneaks up on me every December is how early the sun goes down. So I headed out for this walking tour of the lights around Lake of the Isles around 4.30 p.m. this afternoon and it's now 5.15 and pretty much darkness. But the snow lights it up so the darkness is a little bit more tolerable. Wow. Those are excellent decorations. I have a feeling they're probably professionally done. I love when people put a light in each of their house windows. There's something so old fashioned about that that I think is so sweet. And the next few houses have really good lights too. I spotted these characters on my run yesterday and I was like, okay, I gotta get these guys. <laughs> I just love these. I have no idea how they get this whole tree wrapped in lights or how long it takes. It's such a tall tree and it always looks good every Christmas season. Here's the last three houses I'm going to show you before heading home. So these two and then this absolutely magnificent house with two very tall trees and then also this one at the very end. All right, you guys, that is it. We are done with the walking tour of the homes around Lake of the Isles. I am so cold. It got so cold so quickly tonight. I cannot even feel my hands. I have about 400 meters or so to go before I make it home and just like cozy up and run my hands under hot water. But it was totally worth it because I wanted to show you all of the gorgeous homes and the lights that the homeowners put up at this time of year. Thank you for stopping by and I will see you tomorrow.